Hey guys, welcome to PSA News. I'm Dominic. And I'm Izzy, and today we will be reporting on Hurricane Ian. A couple days ago, Cuba right here was hit uh, with the hurricane at a category three, and there were power outages all across Cuba, and there was a lot of devastation in the farmlands as well. Now, to you, Dom. Thank you, Izzy. So, like she was saying, the hurricane has gone through Cuba. It's gone up through here and it's lost some speed. Cuba, when it hit land, it weakened it. But as it's moving up here through the ocean, it's going to pick up more speed and it's getting stronger. It's about a, a four or three as of right here by Florida. So as you can see right here, as the eye, it's moving up. As it's about to hit Venice, it is at 150 mile an hour winds. It's almost a category five hurricane which is going to be devastating for the, for the shore here with all of them flash floods that will happen there from all of this wind that's been picking up the ocean is going to shove it all through there. All right, back to you, Izzy. So yesterday evening, uh, there was devastation to South Florida in the Broward County area. And right over here in Pepper Pines, there was a tornado that dropped there. It actually flipped some aircrafts at the airport there. And then also in my aunt's neighborhood in Davie, Florida, there was a tornado that dropped in there and still we have not gotten news about what happened and that everything is okay and we don't know the damage yet. And then also there was another tornado that I know of that happened to drop in Tamarack, Florida, which is roughly where our grandparents live. And I'm hoping that everything is fine and that there's not too much damage, but I definitely know and saw that there was damage to the aircrafts in the airport at Crumble Pines. Back to you, Dom. And this is the front of Hurricane Ian right now. You can see all the trees behind me moving around. There's very strong winds today, and we are a couple hours from being hit from the eye. Um, Hurricane Ian is currently in Category 5, um, as it's about to approach Florida in uh, Cape Coral. Um, it won't be hitting us until uh, probably tomorrow morning. Um, we're going to be hitting us in about 12 hours long, and the eye is coming above us, like right over us, so that's going to be fun. Right now we are standing here in the bathroom. We are currently filling up a tub of water. To, this will be the water we use to bathe. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. This commercial was brought to you by DIY Sandbags. How to build DIY Sandbag with Tim. Okay, grab your shovel. We first start by digging a hole. Just a few seconds later, you have a big hole with sand. Alright Tim, where is your bag? Oh come on Tim, good job. Grab a trash bag, any one, and start filling it with sand. Good, now throw it up against the surface you want to keep held up. And now there'll be no more rocking. Now for some window building with Sarah. Hey Sarah, say hi. You ready to start building? Alright, what do we need? A hammer? A nail? And wood. What are you doing? You're missing something. Oh, okay. Oh, Sarah. You're forgetting something. Yeah, the hammer. Yeah. 
Hey, wow, good job, Sarah. Wow, that was fast. Good job, is it sturdy? Good job, Sarah. Say goodbye to our viewers. This is stuff you should not be doing, having all your stuff in your front lawn. is commercial break. Hurricane, 
grab your bags, and pack your valuables. Once you have your valuables, find the safest place in your house. Be prepared to stay there for a while. Before a hurricane, stock your pantries with non-perishable items. And in the worst case, you will need emergency food. Make sure you have that.
So that is it for this unique video. We oh, haven't yeah. done a video like that before. Nope. We, we went through a hurricane. Yeah. Okay, so we also got our power back and it was like almost 24 hours with no power, which was horrible. It wasn't too bad. In my you opinion, read the entire time. I didn't read the entire time. I did just like, I don't know. I did read a lot of the time, but I also painted today. So. Yeah. That's for the next video. <laughs> But anyways, thank, thank you, guys you guys so much, much for watching, watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.